What's up, people? It's Angel here, and I'm going to do something special. So I'm going to show you how to unlock Vincent Valentine in Final Fantasy VII. So he's actually a little particular in the way you unlock him. I'll go ahead and go over the details right now. So what you have to do is you have to find four numbers. The first one is in a treasure chest. Not that hard. Second one is behind a piano, and that is right there by the floor. Third one is in a hallway, and then the fourth and final one is actually sort of a trick. So there's actually a room to your left as soon as you come that gives you hints to where all the numbers are, but it only shows three numbers hints. So when you read it, there's actually one where you can select that there's four. So it turns out the fourth one is actually written in invisible ink. So when you put the numbers in, this is another thing. When you put the numbers, you have to be exactly precise. You can't go over. Otherwise, you have to start the thing all over and you have to do it under 20 seconds. So once you do do that, it'll trigger a boss fight automatically with the boss called the lost number. This boss is particular because the more you attack him with a certain attack, if you attack him with more physical attacks, he's going to turn purple later on in the fight when he's close to dying. And that's going to give him a, a boost in his physical attacks. Same if you attack him with magic, he's going to turn orange, which gives him a boost in damage for magic attacks. Once you beat him, you get a key and some materia from, from the vault. After getting the key and the materia, you go down and you unlock this door right by where Sephiroth went into the library. You interact with the coffin and Vincent pops out and he's like, who are you? So you gotta leave. So the way you actually unlock him is similar to how you unlock Yuffie. So what happens is that he comes out and you talk to him about Sephiroth. So once he comes up, you go talk about Sephiroth. He suddenly jumps out of the coffin and then it goes into this scene where like um, Cloud's telling everything about what happened with Sephiroth. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that apart a little bit. And after that, he wants to go back into his coffin. And after he gets back into his coffin, this is what you do. You go back to the coffin and you interact with it again. And then you say, who are you? So then you can put, you know, um, Vincent's actual name or a name that you want him to have. After doing that, he goes on and he talks about um, Sephiroth's mother, Lucrezia or Lucretia or Lucrezia I don't remember which is the proper pronunciation that they used in the English version so what happens next is that after he talks to you about Lucretia um, she um, Vincent actually tells you to leave but as soon as you start leaving he comes after you and he says if you're going to find Hojo so this is actually a big plot thing. I don't know if you guys have known or you might not know. I'll let you figure it out for yourself. So once you do lead this area, Benza comes in and he actually says that he wants to join you, join up with your crew. And all you have to do is just have him in your crew. But yeah, that's how, that's it, guys. You know, thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for some more tips and tricks.